Hey, what's going on everybody? So Apple has just released macOS Big Sur 11.4 to the public. So this isn't a huge update. It's mainly uh, a lot of security related items and then also a couple things to kind of get it in line with some of the other software updates that released like iOS and iPadOS. So let's go ahead. We'll go over these release notes. Then we'll talk about a few things that Apple didn't put in there and then we'll talk about the bug fixes and security updates. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing is podcasts. So I've already mentioned this on the iOS video as well as the watchOS video, but you now have your podcast subscription service. So if you open up your podcast application, you'll be able to see the area uh, for subscriptions. Now they're not live just yet, but they will be uh, in the month or so, I believe. But you'll now be able to get your subscriptions to podcasts if you would like to pay for one. Also, there are new podcast channels. Again, I already kind of mentioned that. Uh, but just some different things also in podcasts to kind of get it looking a little more like the same app on all different devices. Now, as far as new features goes, that's kind of it. I mean, really, podcast was just the only thing there. But... Uh, we got several bug fixes here as well. So uh, the first one has to do with Safari. So your bookmarks may get reordered or moved into a folder that could appear hidden. So if you were having some bookmark issues in Safari, that should no longer be a problem. Also, there was an issue in Safari where certain websites may not display correctly after your Mac wakes from asleep. Now, I haven't really experienced this, but uh, I have seen some people say that they have. So if you were on like Apple's website, for example, and you just close uh, your computer and then you know you open it back up and you would have Safari open still, well, the websites could appear very small and not look uh, correct. So that should be fixed now as well. There's a problem with the Photos application where keywords may not be included when you export a photo. So uh, if you had some photos in your Photos app and you went to export, you could add keywords to kind of help you identify the photo a little bit better. And you can export the photo from the Photos app, and sometimes those keywords were not being included in the exported file. So that should work now. There's a problem with the preview application to where some uh, to where some PDFs may have caused it to be unresponsive. So. Uh, your preview app could become unresponsive when you were searching through a PDF document. So if you had a document that was many, many pages long, and you know how preview, if you type in one letter, it just finds that letter you know, throughout the whole document. So it could have basically kind of froze that up. So that shouldn't happen anymore either. And the final bug fix here is actually a pretty interesting one. You don't typically see uh, game specific bug fixes but apparently if you had a 16 inch MacBook Pro and you play a game called Civilization 4 which is available on the Mac App Store for like I think it's $60, 50 or $60 but uh, apparently on a 16 inch MacBook Pro that was not working properly and could freeze up so Apple actually had to fix uh, that which is again very interesting meaning that it wasn't the developers problem it was the max problem for some reason but yeah those are all the bug fixes uh, here in 11.4 now let's talk about a few things that Apple didn't really mention in the settings app there so the first one here is we now have support for AMD RDNA architecture so uh, this is definitely kind of cooling to some future Macs you know maybe they'll be more gaming oriented or more performance I don't know but something about that silicon chip is going to have some better architecture in there so we'll just have to see uh, what that brings we might find something out at WWDC uh, here in a couple weeks but who knows we'll just have to wait and see now the next thing here is of course with all Mac OS updates, we get a new version of Safari. So we're now running Safari version 14.1.1. And of course, this mainly just fixes a bunch of security related items. And you can see that uh, right here on the Apple support page. So if we go into Safari 14.1.1, we can scroll through and see that we have 
a few WebKit related items that were addressed. Um, so basically, you know, just all the vulnerabilities that uh, were found. And these are also available for MacOS Catalina and Mojave. And that's why there was a security update released uh, for those two operating systems as well. And speaking of security updates, macOS Big Sur 11.4 has quite a few of them, including a day one exploit uh, that was, I think it was actually something to do with taking secret screenshots. So uh, that's pretty serious. But yeah, you can scroll through uh, this list and as usual, it is always kind of scary <laughs> and uh, crazy to see how many uh, different security problems there actually were uh, that were addressed. You know, all these were just out in the wide open, I guess, so. Uh, but it is nice that, you know, they're actually fixing them, you know, they're not just leaving them there, but yeah, we got a few things for uh, AMD, we got the App Store, we got audio, uh, different, like their dock, I mean, that's kind of crazy. Uh, so yeah, just a lot of different things. As usual, I'll put this link in the description down below and you can read into these uh, yourself if you want to. But yeah, so a lot, a lot of security updates for 11.4. Well yeah guys, that's pretty much it for 11.4. Uh, not a huge update, mainly fixing those security problems as usual. But yeah, we'll just have to see what WWDC brings here in, you know, next week or so for the next version of Mac OS. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you all for watching. As always, be sure to subscribe. Click that like button if you want to. And I will catch you all in the next video.